Oh, hello everybody! Um, if you see my past videos and there's this weird thing going on with the videos, I don't know. It's some weird thing Capture does if you record through that app. But if you record just through camera and you let Capture access your normal videos, um, you know, this for Capture users out there, it won't have that weird effect. At least I'm hoping. So now, it should hopefully be better. Here's my Lego set collection. Off, we start with the Lego Death Star and then this Lego Sea Cow. These are my two biggest sets, and um, there's the Isengard set. But um, that's reasonably ugh, that's reasonably priced for that the size of that set, and that's reasonably bleh, I can't say anything, and that's reasonably priced for that set, the Isengard set. But that you know, Star Wars it's Star Wars, it's overpriced. It's like 400 bucks. Um, so let's go on to here. You've got the cave troll set right there. I don't know why I said like cave troll. I don't know. From the Lord of the Rings. You got the Late Town set from uh, the second Hobbit. You got Helm's Deep from the first wave of Lord of the Rings sets. You've got the the smallest set, the smallest Lego movie set in the first wave of the Lego movie sets. And um, you got the Star Wars set depicting the scene when they're about to push Luke into that monster thingy. You've got some polybag sets, something random. You got a random Star Wars set, you know, when they made those really small ones that had nothing to do with the... Didn't depict any specific scene, just like stormtroopers fighting. That's basically what that is. Um, and there's Luke Skywalker up there, but he's not Lego, so... Just just saying if you saw a look at him. I have to, I'm sorry if you see my shadow ba back here. I have bad lighting. Rails from the Dark set from the first Hobbit. Battle 5 Army set from the last Hobbit. Um... About uh, the, the the barrels, the barrel riders scene from the second Hobbit, but came out with the first wave of Hobbit sets because it was originally going to be two films, and this and the spider scene was going to be in the first Hobbit film because it was really only going to be two films. Um, here is the set which depicts the finale at the end of the first Hobbits, uh, Hobbits, Hobbit film. Here's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. Um, but the Black Gate set. There's the Goblin King set from the first Hobbit. Elf set from the second Hobbit. Spider set from the second Hobbit, but came out with the first Hobbit. Bag End. Isengard. Council of Elrond. Uh, Saruman and Gandalf fighting. And then just Saruman and Gandalf talking, but I got two legs, so I just put the legs there and have Gandalf and Saruman there. And the Tree Bear comes with that set. I'm sorry if I'm doing this rush, I just don't want this to be too long. Lonely Mountain, gonna review this set, um, smallest set from, I think, the second wave of Lego Moose sets, and this, when they're about to, like, they're gonna laser out Emmett's back or something, I don't know, um, this is another set from the third Hobbit film, uh, they're getting Gandalf out of Dol Guldur, but of course this doesn't have Gandalf, it just has Gladriel and Elrond, because you already have a set from the second Hobbit, in where he's at Dumbledore at the end of the second Hobbit. So, I just said second Hobbit twice. Um, uh, when Smaug attacks late down, this, that's what this set is depicting. But, Saruman, I mean, <laughs> Smaug doesn't come with this set. It's just I coincidentally put them next to each other and I had um, Smaug on the thing. So, it looks like he's attacking. He could, He's also in this set and in this set. And that was just a coincidence. And then back here... We have the, um, from the Return of the King, where Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas come back, um, with the Ghost Army to win the battle, and, um, I think that's pretty, oh, yeah, and the, the Douglas, Douglas Door set, and then there's plus the Baron set, which is depicting a scene from Douglas Door in the second Hobbit film, even though Baron is never there in any scene, but I think Baron helps him out. Or I think they just made that up for that set. And basically, you can connect the Baron set with the Dull Gold Door set. So, I just did it. The space would be taken up. And, um, woo! That was my Lego 